basketball tournament here at the Blue Eagle Gym today, Sunday. We're nearing the conclusion of the second round and the final forecast almost complete. Well, actually, it's already complete, but the seedings have yet to be determined. And those are the games today. And hopefully after the games today, things will a little bit be uh, clearer for our final forecast. Good afternoon once again. My name is Boom Gonzalez, joining you live over Studio 23, together with my partner today, Mr. Ronnie McSan, of a very important pair of matches today, Sunday, here at the Blue Eagle Gym, Ronnie. Definitely, Boom, as uh, the UE Warriors are trying to gain that first spot by winning this afternoon's game against Adamson and hopefully winning over LaSalle come Thursday. For the Falcons, meanwhile, they want to go out in style in the year 2003. Remember that this is a major season for the young coach Luigi Trillo. Yes. Winning the most games out of his four-year tenure with the Falcons. They were a serious contender for that final four slot. However, back-to-back -back losses against La Salle and FAU derailed their chances. But this, uh, this year's season is definitely a big one for the Falcons. Okay, let's go straight to our team standings. After yesterday's game, UP versus NU and then Ateneo La Salle. This is the current team standing. Right now, the Ateneo Blue Eagles are on top with 11 wins and 3 losses. The FU Tamaraos are in second place with 10 wins and 3 losses. And uh, right now, the UE Red Warriors in third position mm -hmm. with 9 and 3. The De La Salle Green Archers, whatever happens in, their th in that Thursday game, will be in fourth place in our Final Four uh, setup. The Adamson Falcons are in fifth with 5 and 8. Gone are the days wherein the Fal Falcons will be underneath the Down team there. standings right yes. now they're in fifth position but they want to gain win number six in order to uh, culminate the fine season that they've had so far all right let's focus on this game ue versus adamson and let's see how these two teams compare today as you see the stars on your screens marco medea versus james Yap today how will they compare against each other ronnie well in terms of offense ue is such a powerhouse team scoring 72 points per game against only the 65 of the Falcons in defense the Warriors are playing much better defense. This is why they have 10 wins so far. Exactly. In terms of field goal, hindi nagkakalayo yan. 37 is against the 36 of the Falcons. But in rebound, the UE Warriors have a slight lead over the Falcons. Obviously, a very offensive team. Ito Mukanan, the UE Red Warriors with a lot of guys to go to down the stretch especially. Now let's go back July 19. Ronnie, matagal-tagal to dalong zong sa hindi nagkita. And that was the result of their first meeting. That's correct. UE winning by a margin of 13 points, 74 to 61. During that halftime, it was almost a blowout game with 19 points in for the Warriors. Look at this, turnover points, a big 22 to 3 advantage para dito sa UE Red Warriors. And spearheading that was of the Warriors in that particular time. Alan Omidi with 14 points. And also, I remember Paul Artani had that big double-double during that particular game. 12 points and 10 assists as well. Para naman sa Falcon still. Mark Capadilla, the main man for coach to be with you all season long, led the cause with 14 points. Okay. Now, you know, I said at the top of the coverage that this is going to be a very important game. There are possible scenarios, but there are a lot of things that might happen after today's game. So let's get to, let's say, the resolution of ties, just in case we have certain ties at the top of the team standings running. Let's determine this. And Ateneo will not finish lower than second. And Tasal will uh, be able to hold on to that number four slot in the final four. If two teams are tied, for the number one position, there will be a playoff for the chance to land on top and face La Salle okay. uh, as the number one team against the fourth seed. If uh, there are multiple ties, meaning triple tie between UE, Ateneo, and uh, UE, Ateneo, and FEU, the team with the highest motion gets a bye. That would be Ateneo at this point. And the two teams with lower quotient gets into a playoff for the chance to land in that second place. All right. So now let's make it clear and let's let's break it down, uh, Ronnie. It's a, there are four possible scenarios that might happen after today's ball game and after the end of the second round. Actually, all right. There is that possibility of the three-way tie, as my partner Ronnie said. Pateneo, FEU, and UE end up at the number one spot, all with 11-3. Then what happens is that Ateneo, team with the best quotient, team with the best quotient goes to number one. Yes. And then, then uh, two the and three goes into a playoff for for uh, the chance to land in the second spot. Uh, ang pinag-usapan, of course, natin dito is a twice to beat advantage. Now, if Ateneo and UE are tied at 11 and 3, Wani, what again happens? If they are tied at 11 and 3, there will be a one game playoff between these two teams for the chance to land in the first spot and face La Salle, uh, being the fourth seed. 
Ateneo and FEU are tied with 11 and 3. If Ateneo are tied at 11 and 3, same thing. Ateneo and FEU will go into a one game knockout for the chance to land in the first place and uh, face the fourth seeded team in the final four. And lastly and quickly, let's run. If FEU and UE end up tied at 10 and 4, if they end up tied at 10 and 4, then they battle for the chance to land in second place and face the third seeded team in the final four. And we'll talk more about this and we'll get to the game between UE and Adamson when we come back here at Season 66 of the UAAB on Studio 23. Handang handa na ba kayong magsimula? Simulan na natin ang labanan. Let's get it on with the player intros brought to you by Nescafe. Masarap na simula. First up, coming all the way from Rexo. Rapid and intense razor rough for your UE Red Warriors. Going for a slam dunk to exploit this six-foot-six player. Is playing in his second season. At center forward number six, KG Canaletta. A blur on the fast break at guard five, ten, number nine, Arnold Bucker. An underrated shot blocker and rebounder at forward six, four, number 11, Jayan Estrada. This hyperactive playmaker is one of the league leaders in assists. Playing in his final season at guard five, ten, number 16, Paul Artadi, and one of the best gunslingers in the league. Playing his fourth season at forward, 6-3, number 18, the big game, James Yap. Head coach for the Warriors in his third season is Boise Izama. And now, swooping down from San Marcelino, swift and strong, here are your Adamson Falcons. The captain of the Falcons playing his third season at point guard, 5-10, number 6. Ramil Taguba. Another in a long list of talented players from Cebu. In his third season of guard, 6-2, number 7, Mark Abadia. A tenacious and relentless rebounder in his third year at forward, 6-2, number 9, Jojo Hate. A dead ringer for Romel Adugo, now in his second campaign for the Falcons at forward, 6-4, number 10, Chad Alonso. And finally, newcomer from Cebu at guard 6-2, number 18, Patrick Abajo. Head coach for the Falcons in the fourth season is Luigi Trini. And that is your Nescafe starting five for the game between UE and Adamson. Once again, good afternoon, Philippines. And welcome to the Blue Eagle Gym. You're watching us live over Studio 23, Boom Gonzalez, together with Ronnie Maxanok. And first possession will go to Adamson U University. And just before we just watch this game, Kasama Ronnie, let's just mention how a wonderful breakout season it has been in the young coaching career of uh, Coach Luigi Trino and for the rest of the boys of Adamson. Definitely eclipsing the best mark that they've had, which was 10 years ago. Winning four games and losing 10 during the time of Eddie Laure. But in this particular season, Coach Luigi Trino has really transformed this team to a fighting unit. Not only that, once upon a time in this season, they were 5-5. Five and five, yes. Had the chance to climb yes. up to 6-5 and five, and tie LaSalle and put more pressure on the archers in battling them for that final four seat. However, two successive losses and... Uh, the rest is history. They'll go down once again in the 2003 season as uh, the team that raised a lot of eyebrows and make uh, those skeptics believers in the system of Coach Luigi Trino. And a lot of, uh, made a lot of teams you know, worry about them. Because they know that Adamson was uh, breathing down their necks. And you know, if they win today, as we see Chad Alonso, Unable to get it to go, and Jojo Hate following up. If they win today, Ronnie, that's already 100% better than last year. And the nice thing about the team of Coach Luigi Trillo, isa lang ang mawawala dito, Yan si Marco lang. He lang. will have an intact, almost intact lineup come the 2004 season. So this game may serve as a springboard for next year's 
very nice uh, campaign once again in the UAAP. Next year, they will Yay! be more mature, yeah. more competitive. And you know, as, when I said that they'll be 100% better by winning today, I meant, of course, in terms of team standings. That's correct. Because last year, yeah, sabi mo nga, three wins. This year, they're going for that six. This is their last game, and they want to go out in style, as you said. First foul of the ball game. Foul number nine. Do he's trying to put a lot of pressure on the Falcons. They know for a fact that not much is at stake for the Falcons, except Prime. But for them, they are targeting no less than a tie for the first place. Should they be able to uh, get through against Adamson and against LaSalle come Thursday? Jojo Hate called for his first personal. Nino Canaleta on the line for a pair of Gentex free throws. For UE, very important to win this ball game. Hopefully, they are trying to get that twice to beat advantage, something that they had last year. So if they get anything less, so maybe to some of the fans it will be a little bit disappointing. Although, being in the Final Four, I'm sure they will be the team who will understand that anything can happen, Ronnie, because they had the twice to be <laughs> the advantage correct. last year. I guess they the lost way it. Goes. I really feel that for Coach Boise Summer to get redemption Hi, in this year's Mama season, Dia. it will be no less than a chance of playing in the finals. And maybe, just like what the team that beat them last year, Cap that title also that so long been missing para sa kanilang campaign. 18 years ang inaantay nitong UA Red Warriors. You know, Ronnie, when uh, me and uh, Randy Shakdalan guested on June Torquato show, the UAP Central, I, I said something about the UA Red Warriors and I thought in the second round, I feel that this team will peak. Hindi pa nagpipeak ng first round eh. Here in the second round, nakakaapat na sunod na panalo sila. I, I completely agree with your observation, Jude. But the most important thing para kay Coach Boise Samar is to instill in his players that James Yap and Paul Artadi are simply not the two guys who will win it all for them. The second Paul unit, and took si Umi Ping and Brooker have been super to say the least. But the big guys have got to step up come the final four dahil pagdating doon sa ganong pagkakataon, a single loss for Judge Moss the entire season for him. I'm sure they have learned and matured from last year's experience. Yeah, yeah, so uh, a big, big twice to beat advantage that they lost. A hurtful shot coming from Jack Chia hurt around the UAP. Hindi nila nakakalimutan yan even after their first round win over Ateneo. Sabi nga natin, redemption will come in gaining that uh, revenge maybe against the Ateneo in the final court and finally annexing the title for their school after 18 long years. Jojo Hate adding two free throws. Jojo Hate, ang, uh, ang kaaway ng ating week. for yeah. this. Uh, Ito, hindi ngayon yan. Ha? This was last Sunday, folks. That is a video of last Sunday's uh, board-shattering experience that of si Jojo Hate. He uh, did some warm-ups on Adamson. Siya yung nag-dunk. Yun na nangyari. At na-cancel uh, yung mga laro nung araw na yun. Naurog uh, on another play date. But now we're back here at the Blue Eagle Gym and everything's fine and okay. And I can say the same for James Yap, who has got five points in the ball game. One three-point shot and one incursion for James Yap. How about James Yap, whose numbers have dipped in this season? Only in terms of his uh, offense. He is only number three, I think, in scoring for the for the league. Last year was obviously number one. But the team is still doing well, and you've got to be happy about that. Definitely so. I really feel that James Yap has finally realized that he needs to step up in other aspects of the game. Right now, he needs the team in rebounding room. That's a big, big uh, plus in the game from the Red Warriors. As we see the three-pointer once again from UK. But this fast break attempt from uh, Armadilla finally will uh, bring the lead back to them at 9-8. to eight. Fast start for both of our teams, who Six minutes to play here in the first quarter. So, so far, it has been a James Yap, Mark Abadia show. Dalawang beses nagsagutan. Isa sa tres. And then, James Yap counters with another three. Mark Abadia with a fast break. But Arnold Palmer will not be left behind in the scoring parade. And speaking of UE, let's send it over to Eugene Lalaan for this courtside update. In the UE squad's dugout, the team is always being reminded of their coaches and the coaching staff that they must not be complaining about today's game. This is Adamson's last game and they will try to end their season with a blast. Coach Jamar emphasized that they have a very strong lineup and they are very able to bring an upset to their team today. They must be ready for a very pressured and a very physical game today. Now back to you, Boom and Ronnie. Thank you, Eugene. And Paul Artadi cannot believe that he missed the layup. You don't see that often. Paul Artadi, the fundamental mistake that he had 
was he did not use the board. He opted to go for the rim right away at the uh, isinuka to rim yung ball. Ayan naman niya idaktak sana mm -hmm. din idaktak na lang yan. Let's do that time and time again. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more UAAB action. Between Adamson and UE, and players sprawled on the floor trying to retain possession as Adamson with a 14 second shot clock and Jojo Hate with a strong Hate. move underneath. Simply pure upper body strength for the main man. Itong si Coach Luigi Tillo inside para sa Falcons in the absence of course, itong si Kenneth Bono. The rookie who had really made heads turn dito sa kanyang first season para sa Adamson. James Yap. Misfire from the outside. Ball Antali could not handle the super booker pass. <laughs> As we look at our smart buddy prepaid matchup, we did talk about the fact that these guys are the main men. And not only that, Kanina Sila Pay Nagbabantay and James Yap and Marco Badia. James Yap and Marco Badia, two guys who will also contend for the mythical selection come the end of the UAP campaign. Very good matchup between these two guys. Very explosive. Good scorers and the team leaders also. Tagupa inside to Hate. Semi hook is not there. And a 24 second infraction call on the Adamson University Falcons. And speaking of them, let's send it over to CA Bello on this courtside for this courtside update. Good afternoon. Well, today is Adamson Falcons last game for this season. The hopes for final four is gone, and all they want to happen is to win against UE and double their record from last year's three wins. In order to do this, all it will take is team effort. Coach Luigi Trillia said that this should be a good battle for them. On the other hand, Kenneth Bono will not be able to play today because he has not yet recovered from his injury. Now back to you, Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much. You know, I just realized if I may be able to stray for a while, it is the last game of Adamson University and the last uh, TV appearance for Adamson ni C.A. Bello. So, uh, yeah, job well done. As we job see, well uh, done. Ken Bono. The TV screen, sabi natin, wonderful season for this uh, oh, yes. price fight from Iloilo. Proving and uh, really making his mark here in the UAAP that he can match up with the best of the big guys here in this league. Batang bata pa, oh, uh, yeah. gagaling pa yan as Canaleta misfires from the outside. The score is 13 to 10 in favor of Adamson at the 320 mark of this first quarter. It has been Tagupa against Artadi down. We'll make that uh, the point guard scores as Jojo Hate. Hate. Six points across his name. Timeout UV Red Warriors. It gives him a 15 to 10 lead with a 315 mark of the first quarter. We'll be back after this timeout. UAAP News receives free news headlines by texting UAAP Go News to 2366. This is all made possible by Pinoy Central. The exclusive mobile content provider for UAB Season 66, exclusively available to Globe subscribers. Now, Ronnie, correct me if I'm wrong with this observation, but it seems that UE has not come out in this first quarter with a sense of urgency. I really feel that uh, James Yap has done his job. But itong si Paul Artadi and the uh, Super Booker have quite been a little too fancy for the comfort of uh, Coach Boise Summer. That's why he took them to the sidelines and ito ngayon, Derek Rubalde, I mean, uh, Paulo Rubalde and Alan Umipi seeing action for the first time, trying to put more intensity and more fluidity in the offense of the UE Red Warriors. And what about Mark Abadia draining another three-point shot from Lipton Ice Tea Country? Ten points across his name. They go inside, and Estrada could not handle the pass, and that is what Coach Boise Samar was talking about earlier during uh, timeout. As we look at Mark Abadia in the face of James Yap Ooh. with a Lipton Ice Tea three point shot for his eighth, ninth, and tenth point, and that reaction says it all. Tagupa weaving. Fancy pass goes nowhere. It's so easy for the Falcons to penetrate the defense of the New York Red Warriors. I'm sure that come the second quarter, there will be major adjustment in the defensive setup of Coach Boise Samar maybe even put a little more backward pressure against the Falcons as well. So Rain Katabay, Jeff Tahonera, and Marvin Poloyapoy now in the ball game. All at Umipi. In the meantime, as we said, Paolo Bade also in the ball game for UE. RJ Maspan also coming in for JR Estrada. James Yap again releases. Swishes the net with a left to nice deep three-point shot. As we see, Poloyapoy dripping over a uh, Spot and turn over para dito sa Falcons. 
James Yap, what a wonderful stroke this young man has. Great release, napakabilis at hindi lang yan. Yung accuracy niya as we begin. Fire this three-pointer. At ang ganda ng pag-set up sa kanya. As we look at the slip, the nice deep three-point shot. But the official ice team of the UAAP. He, he was really set up for something like that as James Yap puts up a wild shot. And I'm entertained so far and I'm sure our TV audience is entertained by this Abadia Yap matchup right now. Both scoring 10 points in the first quarter so far. Polayapoy gives it over. Ray Kababay. Polayapoy releases. A bit short. Moro. In the ball game. I'll make that sorry, Mark Hong in the ball game for the first time. James Yap this time wanting to attack. Then sets up KJ Galeneto oh! for the Shwama Chava. This is what we were talking about. Nothing for Nimula. James Yap sacrificing a little of his offense, trying to make his teammates look good, and also involve himself in the assist and in the rebounding department, giving up this nifty pass oh, yes. to the freaking Galeneta for that nice flash. James Yap drawing the defense and the extra elevation, able to stay up in the air, finding KG and KG ramps it down their throats. <laughs> These are the kind of plays that the UA Warriors are widely known for. However, for Coach Boyce Samar, he wants a victory and a shot at landing for a tie and a three-way tie for the first spot between UE, FEU, and the Ateneo team. And speaking of the tie, it is already tied at 18. All on a weeping, zigzagging, elevating, and then getting the bucket. Timeout of Coach Boise Tama, resulting in wonders for them. Now they have the lead, 20 to 18. Ex expect Coach Luigi Trillo to make his move and make his adjustments. See what the dunk can do. That's right. And an impact play like that. Here we go again. All on a weeping, break away. No, traveling. <laughs> Too fast for his own comfort after that nice lead of pass by James Yap, who may be taking steps. Let's look at this Rexona defensive play. Rexona, your best defense against odor and wetness. All on the the steal and the conversion on the other side. 27.6 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Substitutions for Coach Luigi Trillo. Rafa Cabajo now in. Mark Abadia. And a third point guard for Adamson, Hakim Gandarosa, in the lineup. As Coach Luigi is not happy, and he won't be after that shot. Aside from that fa the fact that the uh, adjustments are being done by Coach Luigi, you know, I really feel that he wants to see what the other young boys that he has in the team has to offer. Para narin para sa upcoming season dahil malalaman natin kung uh, if he needs to put in new players or he can stick with the lineup that he had in this year's season. He wants to uh, see the attitude. It's also the heart of the players. Lalong lalo na, wala nang berry itong laro, pero a fine season to, to end with, with a win this afternoon. Uh, no berry, but not for UE. Everything is at stake for UE. And that three-point shot by Olan Uwe being brought to you by Look to Nice D. Closes our first quarter, and UE grabs the lead by 5. 23-18, you're watching the UAAB on Studio 23. You are banking on the UAAP for Hoop Action along with PS Bank. UAAP News. Receive free news headlines by texting UAAP Go News to 2366. This is made possible by Pinoy Central, the exclusive mobile content provider for UAAP Season 66, exclusively available to Globe subscribers. Start on the second quarter. Here at the Blue Eagle Gym, UE ahead by 5, 23-18, and the field goal so far, UE doing a little bit better, and that is because of the transition points that they've had. And now, finally, Paul Artadi finding his touch underneath, as you see the inside points on your screen. UE with 6, but the Falcons starting Jojo Hatte oh, with a big 10-point no. cluster inside. Paul Artadi sent into the game once more, by uh, Coach Boise Samar, responding with the next layup wow. of that deep ball. Three offensive rebounds. Talk about inside strength and that transition ball game belongs to UE. So this has been the story so far, I believe, Ronnie. Tumatako UE, nangangabayo sa loob ang Adamson. For the Warriors to be able to extract this win, extract this win against the Falcons, they should be able to get easy points in their primary attack. Net, of course, 
by Paul Artadi, anchored by Umipi, and itong si Cooper. 25-20 is the score. It seemed that uh, KG, Kino Cataneta, got a little bit winded after that dunk. Samarin ni Bonsak yan. Philip Patel in the ballgame for the white shirts of UE. The score now 27-20. to 20. And if you just joined us again, we'd like to remind you that Kenneth Bono is out. You will see him next year in his second season, season 67 of UAAP. It is Mark Kong, the center spot of Adamson. A foul call on RJ Masbach. It seems that the big guys of the Falcons are outplaying the slack men of the UA Red Warriors. The mindset of the team goes to the Rio is to gun rebound and attack the interior defense of the UA Red Warriors. They have been so successful, that's why the, close, uh, the score is so close at this point. Remember in the first quarter, they even had a five-point lead. But he was able to adjust and regain the lead at this stage. Seems like guys like Ramir Kagupa have been attacking because they're a little bit confident that some of their big guys can't get the offensive rebound. As was the case earlier, RJ Masbang loses it to the baseline, but they retain possession with 14 on the shot clock. Artadi has not seen the bench so far. Charles Tan sends it back to Olan, top of the circle. Comes up short and Taguba comes down with a rebound. His fourth of the ball game already. Taguba with a pirouette move, overshoots. Tahonera puts it back for Jeff two. Again, second chance opportunities for the Falcons. The UE Red Warriors are simply giving Falcons too many chances. And the development of Adamson team doing a good job with their zone defense. Slowing and timing the offense of the UE Red Warriors at this point. Charles Stan releases from three. Get to go from the country. Rui what he does best. Tungsi Tan coming in for James Yap, hitting that nice three-pointer, challenging that zone defense thrown at them by Coach Luigi Trillo. 33.3% Charles Tan's touch from beyond the arc. That's nice. Tan's oh. touch. <laughs> Great Kataba with a three-point play Kataba. opportunity off a foul, possibly from RJ Masbang or Philip Patel. Let's see. Let's hear the official announcement. And yes. again, a breakdown in the interior defense of the U.S. Red Warriors, allowing the smother Katabay to linger underneath and earn this end one opportunity for the Falcons. These are the chances the Falcons have been getting to try to stay close in this game against the U.S. Red Warriors. <laughs> I see Boise Sauer. It's always entertaining to look and listen to Coach Boise Sauer as he was staring down <laughs> Philip Hotel as <laughs> he was walking down <laughs> the bench. Book, Coach Boise Sauer, of course, a part of that last championship team for the UD. Won the championship for, for the UD team in 1984 and 1985 together with the likes of Alan K. Nick and Jericho Dinera. Uh, the winningest team course, in the UAAP. Of course. <laughs> and giving the referee a piece of his mind too. I wish you know, our TV <laughs> audience could really see that. Other eight minutes to play. And the lead is four for the University of the East. Mark Kong with a strong move, gets it to go. If you will look at the shot chart of the Falcons, chances are makikita natin tat-tat na puro sa loob ang kanilang point production. Really, the interior defense of the Warriors leave much to be desired at this stage. And a ball is called at the 727 mark. The lead is only 2.30 to 28. Mark Kong, second personal foul at the 727 mark. And James Yap back in the ball game, and Paul Artadi finally seeing the bench show. It will be in a situation like this, I believe, Olan Uniping bringing down the ball for Coach Boise Sama. That's correct. You really like the luxury that Coach Boise Sama has. Paul Artadi out, James Yap in. And he still has Alan Uniping to man the point guard position. Such a deep bench for Coach Boise Sama. He has really worked wonders in developing the second unit that he has. Mark Abadia. Running away with a rebound. A chance to tie or even go for the lead with a three-point shot. Rain Katabai sends it out to Mark Kong. And then they send it out to Taguba. Thought about it. Comes a little closer. Katabai cannot get it underneath. 
but he will draw the foul. And as we get into the free throws, let's send it over to C.A. Bello for this Adamson University court side. During the timeout, Coach Ruiz really said that if there's an opportunity to drive, then drive. If there's a good shot, then shoot. They also need to box out aggressively, swing out, and move the ball gracefully. Now back to you, Boomin Ronnie. Thank you, C.A. They've been boxing out uh, very, very well <laughs> so moved, far. They have been moving the ball, sharing that basketball. Pretty much, yeah, naman, ito, two point deficit for them, but a chance for them, even at the score, should Kataba make good on these two charities. Reno Kataba averaging a low 40% from the free throw line. This time is two okay, out of two. And we got three men coming in. Aki Pantarosa and Chad Alonso preparing to come in. And also see J.R. Estrada back in action with both boys. See Samar replacing R.J. Nusbaum. He has been rotating his big man, trying to find the right combination. Who will be the guys to sacrifice and stop the inside incursions of the Falcons? And so far, it's still a big puzzle for Coach Boise Samar. And again, what has been happening this time for UE, they have been running Adamson to the ground. And the uh, casualty is Mark Kong for his third personal foul. Abadi drove and then threw his defense and dished it off to uh, J.R. Estrada at the last moment. But UE cannot go on with its wanted running machine. If they are not able to get those defensive rebounds, they cannot push the ball through Paul Artadi, they cannot score on the primary break, because Adamson Falcons have been crushed and gang rebounding on the offensive uh, rebounding end. That's why ngayon, hirap na hirap ang UE makatakbo. Estrada will have to settle for free throws. And they're good, 32-30 they they the lead at the 647 mark of the second quarter. Play number five, according to Coach Luigi Trillo, is what we are about to see. Agupa inside to Gandarosa. Gandarosa almost losing it. Cajonera aims for three. Wild shot, tap, and Gandarosa with another offensive rebound. 623 to play. Agupa fading away. Nothing there. Let's send it over to Eugene Lalan this time for a UE courtside update. Coming into the second quarter, the UE Red Warriors made some adjustments on both ends of the court. Uh, offensively, they want to take it strong in the inside and run the fast break if they have the chance. Defensively, they must set their play. Uh, they must not let Adamson set their play by challenging their uh, point guards and. Uh, Coach Boyd Summer give emphasis on boxing out there, man. This is where Adamson gets much of their points. So back to you, Boo and Ron. Thank you, Eugene. Let's take a break. We'll be back. You're linked to jaw-dropping hardcore battle. Tim, and you are looking at our Sunset Campus beauty. Apple Gay Ramirez, 20 years old from CEU, AP Mass Communication. She is our Sunset Campus beauty of the game with her beautiful sun silky hair. Things will surely get even better and better for her. Back to the ball game, approaching the six-minute mark of the first half. Booker is back, goes up without the ball. Good defense for the Falcons so far. Agupa is back in the ball game. Paul Artadi is also back in the ball game. Nice pass, nice look, but unable to finish is Hakim Gandarosa. You know what, uh, Roddy? In this quarter alone, we check the rebounds. One rebound for. Uh, UE to the 9 of Adamson and then our overall offensive rebound stat is 10 to 4 in favor of Adamson. This will tell a lot on this campaign of UE. Para dito sa particular game na to. If in the second half the Falcons continue control the rebounding department, we have a very very good chance of securing this win. However, Coach Boss is Amar come the, the lemon time for sure to make major adjustments. And will also tell his boys that they need to be aggressive and match the intensity of the Falcons in the rebounding area. Here's a Rexona defensive play. Rexona, your best defense against odor and wetness. As Booker stripped up in the air. First personal call on JR Estrada. Also, Jason Quick Alvinario in the ballgame for UE. Abadia attacks, goes to the other side, in too deep, gets it up, and in! Gets it up and in in one motion. Mark Abadia already with 12 points in the first half. Down by two points. The Falcons are really staying close to the heels of the UE Red Warriors. 
how simply to simply through their tenacity and uh, their aggressiveness in going for that loose ball and then that offensive rebounding rebound as well. Akim Candarosa called for his first personal foul. UE hanging on to a two-point lead, 34-32, with under five minutes to play here in the first half. Altadi. Trying to use the roadblock set by Jara Strada, and then goes back, scoops it up oh, and in! Oh, oh, Spectacular oh, move oh, by the Wiley point guard, Paul Artadi. Arguably the best point guard in amateur basketball right now. Weaving through traffic all on his own. Look at the sidestepping motion. <laughs> Snakes his body into that lane. Squeezes past a couple of players. Gets it to go for the three-point play opportunity. The foul was called on Chad Alonso. Artadi, who in this season has struggled from the free throw line, 37% from the line. Something that, uh, well, everybody knows is his weakness. It, I really feel that it's all in the mind para dito kay Paul Artadi. He can hit the three-pointer. He can even buy that shot from the, three, from the perimeter. But from the free throw attempts. He changed his He even changed his form. See, that's the how... free throw area talagang nag struggle siya. That's the whole, no? He believes that he will miss every time he sets foot on that free throw area. Exactly the point that you were trying to make, no, Ronnie? He, that's how uh, affected he that's is. That's correct. But, uh, at this stage, para palitan mo ang iyong tira at this stage and age para kay Paul Artadi. Artadi loses it momentarily, regains possession. Regains control of the UE Red Warriors. Yap launches one, rips out. Fight for the rebound goes to Jojo Ate. And Jojo, surprisingly, that is only his second rebound of the game. And another inside attempt for Adamson University. And Rain Katabai, with the hesitation, lost was the handle fouled. of that ball. All right, let's look at that technique of Paul Artadi. We, we mentioned how affected he is. And look at how different he's shooting the ball now with a old school one-hander and that didn't seem to work at least in that free throw attempt so for a player of his caliber a future uh, professional player at that Paul Artadi has really been struggling from the free throw area alam mo po from the final four those free throws of his will really have a big impact on their campaign dahil alam naman natin Paul Artadi lagging na foul yan because of his penetration and his explosiveness but if he's not able to buy his gift shots Lagi talaga are. Pagdating sa crucial part, may hihirapan sila. Lagi siya ipapawal. <laughs> Parang hack a call. <laughs> Yan. Under four minutes remaining, the lead is three, and a foul was called on Rain Katabay. Who has seven lead. points, ha? Katabay That's has correct. seven points. Making his impact para dito sa foul. Because Paul Artadi will go to the line once again, and let us see what he can do with this new four. You know, you look at him, Prior to taking the free throw, and you look at his face, and you look at the mindset. There, he's trying to aim. Something now that we would like to focus on every time he will go to the line. He has really changed it. Obviously, he has maybe found this stroke with this uh, new uh, style of shooting of his. A 37%, a change of form. Coach Boise Samar hopes that come the final four, Paul Artadi's prayers from the free throw line will be answered. Two for two for Paul Artadi. So, you know what they say, whatever rocks your boat, <laughs> to each his own. So he has improved two out of three from the line, at least in this game. I haven't seen that one-handed shot, except from uh, Anthony Mason, <laughs> from the New York Knicks. Years ago, old school ga hasta gupa releases nothing there. The rebound going to Quek. And Paul Artadi this time will make sure of the two points. Pero medyo na wala pa yung bola, kaya natawa-tawa pa siya. He tried to go for that slam dunk but lost the handle, giving you E more cushion at this stage. A seven point lead with three minutes left in the second quarter. Six points for Paul Artadi. Katabay. Loses control and loses possession in one motion. Game Shep, you're fighting good defense in that particular possession. At, uh, at the possession, babalik para sa UE. As we look at this, Milo, amazing fast break one more time. He wanted to dunk, he <laughs> lost the ball, but just in time, regains control. 
And good enough for the two points is James Yap this time. Stripped by Mark Abadia. Diving for the loose ball. Abadia sends it over to Paul Antani. Antani looks, goes to his right, and is fouled by Abadia. <laughs> Mark Abadia, always the rugged defender that he is, not giving up easy points. And Paul Antani appreciating it. Appreciating the motion. It's coach Luigi not appreciating that action. Not appealing Mark Abadia and his boys to pick up that basketball because that ball is in front of them. Timeout is called as Marco Badia and Paul Artadi exchange pleasantries on the floor. We'll take a break. Please do not leave the UAAPM Studio 23. <laughs> Coach Luigi Trillo was given a warning during that timeout for uh, I guess entering the floor. Paul Artadi on your screens will take two free throws. Dahil uh, Adamson uh, already over the limit. As uh, a warning was also given, aside from Coach Luigi Trillo, a warning was also given to uh, Abadia and uh, Artadi. And uh, I think there's a new rule against the... Uh, yung, 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 minsan yung nagkakabatokan kayo na kunwari. <laughs> diba? Alam naman natin yan, Roy. Kunwari, sport. Kunwari, okay, pare. Sport ka. Sport, Pero, sportsman like move, no? Pero totoo pala, medyo napapalakas. Napapalakas at napapagalaw ang ulo. <laughs> Mark Abadia... Huwag mo gagawin sa akin yan. Ako yan lang kita kasama po. Mark Abadia should be very careful right now dahil, I, I, uh, if I recall right, he's been sanctioned and uh, called a lot of times by the UAAP uh, Technical Committee because of his second motion a number of times here in the tournament so far. Paul Artadi missing two free throws on that new look of his from the free throw line. Oh, that was a tough pass by Hate to Katabay. Katabay called for the offensive, oh no, stepping on the baseline. So let's look at that play again. And ruling, ruling. ran out of space. It was a nifty pass by Jojo Hatton. Ruling, ruling. And Abay ran out of real estate. At the third over for the Falcons, UE has a chance to up their lead, which stands right now at 7, 14 to 33. We're in the second period of the, this game. Arnold Booker now back in the ball game. For Paul Artadi will sit down for a while and think about his shooting touch. Akin Cantarosa back in the ballgame. Paulo Ubalde also in the ballgame for UV. RJ Maspal, Greg Alvinario, and Olan Ubifi for the white shirt. So Paulo will bring down the ball throughout the last uh, two minutes of this ballgame, or of this uh, first half. And he still has the handle of the ball. Six seconds. Bad entry pass by Arnold Booker. Paulo Ubalde holding on to that ball too long. Uh, six seconds left on the shot clock. Booker forced to give up that half hazard pass. Yui not executing well without Paul Artadi inside for them. Markov making the move, then dishing it off to Hate. Hate unable to get it to stay down. Gandarosa getting the foul and the Gandarosa. Gandarosa, Katabay, Jojo Hate, Mark Abadia. Terrific gang rebounding. He's offensive and para sa kanilang kokonan. That's why they are still in this game down by only 5, 40 to 35. I think the major difference as we look at this sequence again, the major difference of this Adamson University squad in season 66 compared to the 65th season is your confidence nila. No? You come into the court knowing that it's always possible to win. Definitely. Unlike in previous seasons na papasok sila sa court, alam na nila, tehato sila. Tama yan. Tama yan. They have finally been able to absorb the system of Coach Luigi Trillo and tama ka, yung confidence level nila believing that every time they set on court Kaya? they have a chance and a possibility of gaining that win Remember, they have had a lot of close calls too in season 66 as Booker misfiring from beyond the arc Last year alone, they had two overtime games against these UE Warriors oh. So talagang they have a good history against uh, the white shirts so far UE Quick from 16, knocks it down, breaks into a smile. <laughs> Coach Boisizama will also break into a smile with that nice perimeter shot coming from Alminaro, giving them a 9-point lead with a little over a minute left in the second stanza. 44-35. Hakim was fouled by Paulo with a hand check. And he didn't, doesn't believe it. Pero from our angle, he got in. Tama. Gandarosa using his quickness to leave. Paolo Hobald, I really feel that the campaign of the UE Red Warriors will also lie on the shoulders of this young guard, Paolo Hobald, of course, the son of the great Freddy Hobald, who played for the Christmas Red 
itong si Paul Hurtado really needs a good backup guard. At ngayon ang ginagamit nila paminsan-minsan ay si Booker at itong si Umiping. But Paolo Hubati was been out quite a lot in this year's season. Will it help the cause of the UA Warriors? Should he be able to go back to his original form and retain much of the quickness that he has, he has lost because of his injury? Parang uh, naging nag-gain nga siya ng nag weight, ng ano? weight sa kabumagal. Oh. Ayun ang uh, secret ng isang guardia, yung quickness, explosiveness, at yung ability to make the right decisions. Alam na alam mo yan. <laughs> Under one minute to play. Now the lead is 5.42.37. Paolo with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Zigzagging and then going out to Ola Nuipi. Jojo Hade almost breaking up the play. Arnold Booker for a 19-footer. Yes! Arnold what a shot by Booker. Arnold Booker. Time running down the shot clock. Shot clock awareness coming from Booker. Hitting the difficult fade away shot. He has had a couple of jumpers for four points in the ballgame. 23 seconds to play. Hate feeling confident for that move, but it rattles out. A four on three. Booker goes out to Olan. Olan launches one. Nothing there, and Hate comes down with his third rebound. Hate is really involved with no major force. Para na kay Coach Luigi Trillo. That's the biggest of the slot men para kay Coach Luigi, but definitely the most aggressive among his slot men. Well, he almost got the tip to go. But without that, the score is 40, 44 37. A seven point lead for the UE Red Warriors going into lemon time. We'll be back with our halftime report here at the Blue Eagle Gym, so please stay with us. Your reason being, UE leading so far by seven points, even if they have been badly outrebounded by Adamson University, is that they have shot better, as the numbers will tell you. Definitely, this is the only reason why the UE Red Warriors are up in front right now with a seven point lead. You should check out the several numbers. In terms of field goal shooting, the UE Red Warriors hitting a 16 out of 33 clip as against only a 13 out of 37 for the Falcons. Pareto, in terms of total rebounds, the Falcons are much, much too aggressive against the UE Red Warriors, garnering 26 rebounds as against only the 18 para dito sa UE. Tignan mo to, kasamang boom. In terms of offensive rebounding, team of uh, Coach Luigi Trillo getting its lion share with 13 as against only the 6 Rabbit. para sa UE. Yung aggressiveness nila, yung kanilang uh, penchant for diving for the loose balls, mm -hmm. and getting to that uh, proper positioning has really worked wonders para kay Coach Luigi Trillo. 13 more chances, is that what actually means to that uh, statistic, but look at the scoring leaders. Well, it has been an Abadia and the Yap show so far. Once again, Yap spearheading the cause of the UE Red Warriors. Artadi Umipi in Canaleta, of course, with their usual numbers. And for Adamson, makikita natin Jojo Hate providing his muscle underneath together with Katabay and Gandarosa giving their share. All right, that was your halftime report, all brought to us by Adidas. This halftime report was brought to you by Adidas. Forever Sport. Third quarter is underway. Welcome, Philippines, to Studio 23's live coverage of Season 66 of the UAAP. A very crucial set to between UE and Adamson. UE not out of it in terms of the twice to beat advantage. We talked about it at the top of the coverage, but they're trying to still gain it at this, uh, well, towards the end of the second round. And the possibility of so many things here in uh, season 66, like maybe a three-way tie among Ateneo, FEU, and UE, possibly Ateneo and UE, possibly <laughs> Ateneo and FEU, possibly UE and FEU, and all of that. There are certain scenarios just in case that happens. And quickly, Ronnie, how does uh, the whole thing evolve? For one, UE has to sweep its two remaining games, katulad ngayon, ngayong hapon na to, to be able to land for a tie at the top place with an 11 3 card. But if they will only get a split, for example, win against Adamson and then lose against LaSalle, the best that they can get will be a chance for that second spot, or maybe a playoff for that second spot, and still get that twice to beat advantage. At uh, pag-uusapan namin yung iba pang scenarios, yeah. maybe when you have a lull here in the game. In the meantime, the vaunted UE start here in the third quarter has given them an 11-point lead, four straight points, 
37, the second personal foul called on J.R. Estrada on the defensive end. And Coach Luigi Trillo presses the timeout button right away at the 8.46 mark of this third quarter. We'll be back. That big date with Selecta Cornetto like UAAP's couple of the game. Jason Aquino and Mary Grace Alvarez who, who say they're good at singing and dancing. Get a chance to win a new Volkswagen Beetle and other prizes with a Big Date text to win promo. To join, text Big Date and the code in Cornetto Lids to 2366. Artadi leading the break goes to James Yap. Now, when I bola, Booker unable to follow it up. You know, it's nice that we get to interpret the timeouts of uh, the coaches <laughs> during uh, the commercial breaks. And I like what Coach Luigi said. He said, I. I don't care if we win, win or That's lose. Correct. Ang kailangan lumaban tayo dahil parang hindi tayo lumalaban. That's what he said during the timeout. Early timeout called by Coach Dimitri Trillo at the onset of the third quarter. He believes that uh, they cannot call into a deep hole and he wants his players to show the effort. The effort that took them into this uh, fifth place standing right now because he believes that UE is such a potent team and, and at any given time, pwede kang ipaun itong uh, powerhouse team ng UE. And he wants everybody to fight the screens that were provided for James Yap as we all know that Yap loves to curl and pop out of those uh, screens provided for him at hindi mo siya pwedeng masyadong bigyan ng maraming open looks that will he will burn you every time he gets that opportunity possession will remain with the blue shirts of Adamson with 744 to play the lead is 9. 48-39, Jojo Hate with a jumper earlier on. Cut down that lead from 11 to 9. Inside to Taguba, his favorite fadeaway shot is a bit short. Artadi and the rest of the crew recover, but he doesn't have the numbers, so he waits for more partners. Booker inside to KG, KG rattled by Jojo Hate. Not Hate. that easy. Hate making things happen. Para sa Falcons, on the defensive end, at hindi lang yan. His production in terms of scoring is there. His rebounding has always been there. Hate, the main man right now for Coach Luigi Trillo. He has played a splendid ball game. He likes playing here at the Loyola Gym. Uh -huh. uh, Dati isang rim ang kanyang winasa. At uh, just last week, isang backboard ang kanyang uh, winasa. That's your Rexona defensive play. Starring Jojo Hate, Rexona, your best defense against odor and wetness. I was thinking more, gusto niyang bumawi dahil nakabasag siya. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 7-17 to play the lead. It's still 9. As we send it over to C.A. Bello for this Adamson University courtside update. In the knockout, Coach Chewin and Trina said that they should put more work on this. Because it seems that they are just playing plainly. Instead, they should be challenged more. Because of you, it's good play. Put more pressure, use each other, and contribute as a team. He also said that we are already in the fifth place. Let's show the Adamson crowd that we are doing something to keep the position. Now back to you, Pumil Ronnie. And again, while listening to C.A., it's just wonderful to look at Mark Abadia and James Yap exchange jabs, so to speak. <laughs> and Yap, once again, short this time for the three. And Mark Abadia waiting for Yap to fake and the conversion oh, from Uncruz. And so far, Abadia with 17 points in the ballgame, Yap with his 15. I think it's safe to say that these two players like playing against each <laughs> other. Who? I think they, they, they really... It, they bring out the best yes. in each other. It's like it's like going up against, you know, guys like Mac Mac Cardona and, mm -hmm. and then, you know, Wesley guys Gonzalez. like Wesley Gonzalez. Yeah. They love the challenge of, of guarding each the other. number one player yes. of the other Definitely. team. As we see, the match goes on round one. James Yap with a Lipton Ice Tea three-point shot conversion. And then we swing to the other side. Hindi magpapatalo right in the face of James Yap. <laughs> getting it to go from beyond the arc. A Lipton Ice Tea three-point shot brought to you by the official Ice Tea of the UAAP. Paul Artadi this time wants to join the fray. Misfires but scrambles for the loose ball. He regains possession but is called for the infraction. Paul Artadi showing a lot of heart and hustle and securing that ball after after tripping from uh, the foot of uh, Tagupa. Just like that because of Marco Abadia's successive baskets. Down by only seven are the Adamson Falcons. 51 for to four, 44. Rainel Kataba is back in the ballgame. Cajonera thought about it. Ate feeling lucky. 
A little strong. Artadi escapes and the left-handed layup is out. Once again, Paul <laughs> Artadi not using the backboard. Being victimized twice. Ay, that uh, naisuka na naman ng ring. Ang ganda, Yung bola. No? Everything but the shot for Paul Artadi. Paul the Artadi, way yes. he Burning crossed rubber. over. And the, eluding itong si Tagupa but the finish. Again, not using the backboard. Kaya hindi siguradong two points yung kanyang layup doon. Artadi receives the pass. James Yap, top of the circle, thought about it. So, umatake, nawala yung bola. Artadi tries from the outside, comes up way short. 51-44 is the score with 5.25 to play. And it has been an Abadia and Yap show. Tahonera. Loses the ball, but regains control, and then puts up a shot. Nothing there. Hate again with another offensive rebound. And it's Hate, the burly Jojo Hate against <laughs> the skinny Olan Weeping. He simply wants to win this game para sa kanyang eskwela, huh? Jojo Hate in the final game of the season. Yes. For the Cosmos, doing everything that he can just to salvage this win for Coach Luigi Trillo. In the offensive rebounding end, in jumpers, in defense, everything for Mr. Jojo Hate. Well, Coach Luigi Trillo wanted more effort and they're getting it from Jojo Hate. How can you hate Hate? <laughs> <laughs> we cannot hate him. We gotta love him. As Mark Abadia getting a rest from the rookie Patrick Cabao. Gabadia making his mark early in the third quarter. Bringing back the Fottons into this game with the five-point cluster. Cutting the lead of Huey to only seven. 51 to 44. Artadi again misses the layup. And for the third straight time, Artadi opting to not use the backboard. And for the third time again, it explodes in his face. Sayang, it could have been a 13-point lead right now for the UE Red Warriors. Okay, Eugene Lalan with the court side update. Para sa UE, Eugene. Coming into the second half, the UE Red Warriors should want to make some adjustments on their first half lapses. First is their transition defense. They have to sprint back and prevent Adamson from there, uh, from making their running game. And second is that they have gave too much free throws in the first half. They should foul and apply straight up defense. Back to you, Boom and Ronnie. Thank you, Eugene. You know, Ronnie, you are a point guard and you should, I'm sure you know that a lot, a lot of people rely on you to take control of the ball game. We've seen Paul Artadi in his greatest games here in the UAAP and in other leagues. But one comment that is made about him is that sometimes when he is mentally out of it, <laughs> natadama yung, 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 yung laro niya, no? his layups, his, his free throws. And you see him on the bench, you see him, he gets really frustrated. And mentally sometimes, parang wala, nawawala yung toughness niya. I agree with that. Ang problema ni Paul Artadi, kasama ko, he is too transparent. You can see if he's frustrated, exactly. you can see if he's affected by the crowd. And right now, with those two missed layups here in this quarter, you see him throwing his... Uh, Something to the bench, oh, no? Yung kanyang uh, wristband, wristband. Shaking, of, of table shaking of uh, his head. These things tell a lot on the lead, kind of leadership that he has. But of course, the young player and the very good player that he is, marami pa siyang oras para makarehog cover. He just has to realize that he is the team leader and he is the one that holds the glue para sa kanyang opponent. And he should be able to keep his mental toughness Yun. in check for 40 minutes or 48 minutes kung kinakailangan dahil Paul Artadi is the main man together with uh, James Shia para kay Boise Sama. Because skills-wise, there's no question that Paul Artadi, as you said, as you look at him right now, as you said, arguably the best point guard in the league. Skills-wise, alam naman natin, he's complete. Yung, yun nga yung mental part of the game. And, and ang maganda yung punto mo, ha, when you said that about his transparency, because other teams will bounce on That's the correct. fact that That's they correct. can see that you are easily taken out of the game. That's correct. You know, hindi naman, you cannot play a perfect game every time. You just have to realize that if you make a mistake, get back at that mistake and do something positive for your team. And hopefully he will do that when we come back after this timeout. 58, make that 53, 48. Step up to bombastic hardcore action. Jim, for the game today, as we look at our close-up, 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 Don Luki and uh, Vicky Abudin. I hope I said the name right. Came from different schools. But uh, they come together for you, double AP action, and that is your close up, cool sum, two sum. Back to the ball game. And of course, you know, don't get us wrong with uh, the things that we said prior to the break. This is all uh, because we, you know, we praise 
Paul Artani and we know what kind of a point guard he can be. Ano may potential niya. Iba talaga. Magaling talaga. Mendo's upside with the talent that Paul Artani has. As we see, Patrick Kamau burning the UP defense with the three-pointer. Cutting the lead to only two points. Going back to my previous point, Paul Artani, a future professional. Sigurado yan. Just has to realize that his value to the team is not entirely on scoring, but in staying in focus all the time and uh, providing the leadership at all times para sa kanilang kapunan. Paolo Hubalde, hanging on to the ball, will six seconds to shoot for UE. Booker stepping away, not getting it to go. Fine point you made. Derek Hubalde once again hanging on to that ball at nung ubus yung shot pa. With the ball still in his hands, not much ball movement in the execution so far. Itong si Paolo Hubalde. Look at this uh, sequence as Ball will still remain with Adamson with a fresh shot clock. Well, the matchup between Abadia and Yap has been very, very exciting. Both have had three three-point shots across their names and then uh, four rebounds for Yap, five for Abadia, 17 points for each other. I will be watching out for that and <laughs> updating you, Dial. You know, I think smart prepaid is any closer than that. You know, I think smart body prepaid uh -huh. matchups. Match up. yeah. Both players getting up for each other. And uh, itong si uh, Mark Abadia wanting to leave a legacy para sa Falcons in the 2003 season. They want, he wants his team to finish with a sixth win at the uh, eighth loss mark. And then the story is Matalang UA Warriors, led by James Shop and Paul Ornat, is still hoping for the tie in the first place. With an 11-3 march should they sweep the last two remaining games. Mr. Matibag on your screens cheering on Adamson uh, University as they tie this ball game, Ronnie, That's at right. 53. A while ago, the Warriors were on top by a dozen points. But uh, the adjustment made by Coach Luigi Trillo in, in encouraging his players to give their all-out effort, anchored on Jojo Hate, has spelled wonders for them at Eto. It's a tight ball game oh. already. Oh. Fade away jumper by Arnold Booker. Pahiga, yung tira ni Booker. As Adamson is oh, behind now by two, but certainly that 14 to 4 blast by Adamson is keeping them alive here in the third quarter. Hakim Cantarosa off to Jeff Tahonera. Short on the jumper, and KG comes away with a rebound. Paulo looks ahead and then sees daylight, sets up Arnold Booker. Booker goes out to KG. KG, 13-footer. Yes. KG. Finally, some ball movement coming from the UN Warriors. And this has worked positively for them. Back to a four-point lead for them. Booker, after gaining that perimeter shot, this time giving up that nice pass to KG Canaleta. 57-53. Mark Kong. The hook. A thing of beauty, but could not get it to go. Paulo Hubalde, Booker, setting up R.J. Masbang, the foul and the basket. Nice pass, nice look by Arnold Booker. Back-to-back -back nice assist passes coming from Booker. And ito, Paulo Hubalde finally executing well for the Union Red Warriors. Giving Paul Artadi enough time to uh, bring back sense into his proper frame of mind that uh, maybe finish well for the Union Red Warriors in the fourth quarter. Alam mo, kitang kita mo, because of that, the back-to-back -back plays of Arnold Booker Coach Boise Samar recalled James Yap from the table official. Sabi niya, buka muna. Kaya so maganda linalaro ni uh, Book. Ang tawag nila, no? Super Booker. Oh, Super Book. Super Book. <laughs> Naguba is back in the ballgame together with Mark Abadia. The lead is six. Kong. Muscling his way. But comes up short. Balo Balde. And the pass anticipated by Patrick Cabaug as he was fouled by RJ Masbang. Well, you mentioned, Ronnie, you mentioned Super Booker. That's a tough. Look at the separation and then the split second, the extra split second in the air for the two points. And against UST, he was nothing less but Super. Sensational game versus the Growling Tigers with 21 points. Look at the field goal shooting that he had. Uh, the big 10 point run in the third quarter. And that is precisely what he is also doing right now against the Adamson Falcons. They're taken over the cudgels from Paul Artadi and see James Yap in this particular third canto. Paul Artadi back in the ball game. And Paulo Valde sits down. RJ Maspang 
With the emphatic rebound. Paolo Hubaldi did a fine job in the absence of Paul Arcadi. But ito, anim na puntos na naman ang kanilang kalamangan because of the nice orchestration that he had. The fifth in the pitch. Six-point lead is still there as Mark Vong comes away with that carom. 48 seconds remaining. The time around three more plays barring any hits. Patrick Cabal and Booker steps in, breaks up the play. Arnold slows down and gives it up to Olanumipeng and tells everybody this is how a layup looks like. Booker very unselfish, just content with making defensive plays and giving those nice and deft passes to his teammates, making things happen in the defensive end. And eight-point lead, courtesy of Booker, all here in the third quarter. And Patrick Cabal was denied, but according to the referees, there was a foul. Referee Sting, Vivo, and Manyala in the ball game. As this is your Milo amazing fast break. Booker getting the job done on both ends. Breaking up the play, stepping into the passing lane, and then the good look to Olan Umiping. Good enough for an eight-point lead. Booker has seemed to have been super this third uh, period. Well, this is the third quarter. quarter huh? At alam naman niya, pagdating ng fourth quarter, the ball will uh, go into the hands of Paul Arcadi and James Young. Now before that free throw from Patrick Cabajo, it was an 8-0 run, countered. It, was, it has been a game of sprints para dito sa third quarter. 14-2 run ng Adamson Pappas, answered by an 8-0 blast from the UE Red Warriors, anchored the fourth in Super Booker. And then, we are down to 10 seconds here in the third quarter. Paul Arcadi will play it out. Goes to Ola, launches for three, comes up short, and Jojo Hade comes away with another rebound. His eighth, make that seventh in the ball game. Jojo Hade, four defensive and three offensive rebounds, but not enough for them to snatch the lead. It is still with UE, 61 54. We'll be back with fourth quarter action here on Studio 23. You're hanging out with cool UAAP hoopsters, along with Mentos, the fresh maker. UAAP, you know, i uh, like to uh, ask you to watch the UAAP Central on Friday at 11.30 studio on Studio 23. That's the show that is hosted by uh, Jude. That, that would be nice to watch. Uh, a lot of inputs and exchange of ideas, and of course, coming from different schools. Talaga namang uh, very interesting yung tinataktakan na yan. Uh, yeah. I uh, guessed it with uh, Randy Sakdalan at the end of the first round. And we had so much fun with the players also as you look at the quarter score so far. An even 17 at uh, the third quarter. Pero yun nga, kalamangan, nasa UE at 61-54. Booker chasing it and saving it to the right person. KG gets it back to... Paul Artadi, they swing it to the other side. Booker for the three, comes up way short. And Mark Kong was fouled by J.R. Estrada. Sometimes that's how it is. <laughs> Booker left on the court by Coach Boise Samar simply because of his sterling play in the third canto. Not expect James Shap to come in any time. Dahil itong fourth quarter, it's the quarter that James Shap loves playing in. I'm sure Mark Abadia is looking forward to this quarter too. <laughs> a challenge by Mark Abadia to change up. It's fourth quarter, it's draft time, it's our time. And Mark Abadia was denied on that drive. Booker gets the ball from Paul Artadi. Inside to Estrada, back to Booker. Door was closed, so they send it out to Holland. Holland launches. What up? And a rare offensive rebound, a save actually by J.R. Estrada. Showing more hustle are the UE Red Warriors. That's why second chance points coming for them. But a turnover running from uh, KG Canaleta, giving possession back to the Adamson team. Well, what happened is Tagupa got the ball and then Booker stole it, but traveled in the process. So, with over a minute gone by here in the fourth, the score still stands at 61-54. Oops, Aguba marching into the defense of UE. A foul is called on Paul Artadi. His first personal as we look at our Camiseta Campus girl of the game, Katrina Lotto from Adamson, 17 years old. She's a nursing student. Be spotted in the next, as the next Campus girl of the game and bring home cool prizes from Camiseta. 
So it's either here, the Blue Eagle Gym, or the Araneta Coliseum if you want to be a Camiseta Campus Girl. Something that me and Ronnie can never be. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo Ate, off to Marco Badia. And the simple shot Mark from the side Badia. gives them two more points to come into this five-point lead for UE. James Yap trying to get out of the screens. Launches one, overshoots, and Taguba with his eighth rebound of the game. One of the best rebounding guards we have in the league, Taguba, showing his might in the rebounding end. Itong uh, team ng Adamson hanging so dangerously close, dangerously close against the Red Warriors. Talaga naman, Coach uh, Luigi Trito has really transformed the team of Adamson into a very potent one. The kind of team that can win a ball game every time they set foot on court. Anytime, anytime, that's right. No more pushovers. And uh, not, they will not get, or they, not, they don't have that label, the also ran. Adams 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 University. Not yeah. anymore. Not anymore. First days are over, Palace of Falcons. Checking a look at several numbers. UE in the second half with seven steals and four block shots. Showing a lot more aggressiveness in the defensive area. That's why they still have a five point lead at this stage of the game. Wow, nice move by Akim Gantarosa to cut this lead into three. 61 58 as we send it over to CA Bello on this Adamson court side update. Final 10 minutes for Adamson Falcons has started. Close to Vigitrina said that they should make at least four points, which they made already for the first four minutes and play defense for the rest of the players to do whatever they have to do. We wish the Adams and Falcons stop that they will make it to this game. We will go back to you, Pumal Ronnie. Thank you very much. Ganda Rosa, after the splendid layup, lost track of James Yap on the other side. And James Yap drills in another three-point shot for 20 markers across his name. A split second is all he needs yes. to be able to launch that uh, nice arching nice arching shot. As we see Abadia trying to answer to the three-point line <laughs> as well. And Paul Artati pushing that ball once again for the primary break. Para sa UN Red Warriors. Pero nanghinaya at nanghina yung kanila primary break. So they set up for another. And, uh, James Yap this time misfired from beyond the arc. You know, I, uh, I want to mention, Mark Gong has played solid on defense and rebounding. He has changed a lot of shots for UE. That's correct. But uh, in this afternoon's game, wala yung kanyang kapwa uh, gigante na si Kenneth Polo. Yeah, That's why he's been puffing and puffing already in the good. second half. Abadi again. Overshoots. Jojo Ate again. And this time, hard-working Jojo Ate already with 10 points across his name. And eight rebounds. And eight rebounds. Four of each. Jojo Ate simply outworking the taller guys now you Red Warriors. He wants this win badly for Adamson to close out their campaign oh, in the 2003 no. season. Iriwana Nermans to James Young for another three. Comes up short. And again, Mark Kong with another rebound. His seventh of the game. Boy. Adams and Falcons are working hard on, on the rebounding end. This has kept them in the game, and right now, they have a good chance of uh, getting this mini upset once again. Sayang yung kanyang hook shot. Good attempt, but he cannot finish. And Altani will kick it out to Yap. Yap, off the glass! Hindi na maabon ni Mark Kong, because Mark Kong is a tired man right now. 66-60 is our score, and we're up for an escapade. 3-1 and break. Pass it up. It's a break time. Suit yourself. We're back here at the Blue Eagle Gym, and it has been uh, exciting, entertaining, and amazing. <laughs> Smart Buddy prepaid matchup between James Yap and Marco Badia. 22 to 19, four against seven in the rebounding department. And the good news is, it ain't over yet. 5.29 to play here in the fourth quarter for them to put on a show for their fans here at the Blue Eagle Gym. What a show that these two guys have put up so far. They've been ready for each other's challenge, but of course, the W will be the more important thing for the uh, particular cagers. Talking, of course, about Jake Shop and Mark Abadia. Adamson University's final game of season 66 and the penultimate game for the UE Red Warriors. Take a look at the field goals of the UE Red Warriors. James Yap and KJ Canaletta shooting nearly 50% with 13 out of 25, but the rest of the team hitting only a poor 13 out of 40. 
nothing poor about that shot from Patrick Cabal. The lead cut down to four as we come up to the five-minute mark of the fourth and final quarter. Very important game for UE. Whenever I hear that name, Cabal, we always, it always comes to mind the name of Roy Cabal. Nothing gunner yes. for a long time yes. in the professional league. As we see James Chapman with the Tyson Kershaw like hopping the lead of QE to 6, like we said, to 62. We said, Ronnie, the show ain't over yet. <laughs> and he James loves Chapman. the fourth quarter. 24 points. And then he sends it to Paul Artadi. Artadi this time does not use the last <laughs> game, but he gets that way up to go. And he is a very happy man right now. Nice smile coming from Paul Artadi. More of a relief rather than happiness coming from that shot as James Yap reversing the role. Before it was Artadi to Yap, now Yap to Artadi in the fast break end. Parang gusto yata talaga bigyan ni Yap eh. Para o magkakumpiyansa ka sa layup ko. Ito yan. Taguma, short stab, yes. Really hanging closer the Falcons with that perimeter shot. Coming from Taguma down by only six. Four minute mark here in the final quarter. And Paul Artani calling two down. Double pick set for Paul Artani. And according to the referees, Paul will go to Addison University as we take a look at this final amazing fast break one more time. And Paul Artani making sure of this layup, a walk in the park. And yes, count it down, man. Don't worry. <laughs> We have another Nescafe 3 and one break. Masarap sa break time. Stay with us, please. Back for more action here at the Blue Eagle Gym. Katipunan, Quezon City for Sunday's 66th season UAAP on Studio 23. And look at this spectacular play that started from way out and ended up with a ball on Paddy. Way up inside, weaving his way through traffic. A spectacular play brought to you by Attic Mobile. Get hooked. And the guy in civvies is the rookie, Kenneth Bono. Tayang, and unable to play at the last game of Adamson University. Last for two games. Para sa Adamson Falcons, oh, tama. Ken Bono was hurt by a sprain. Dunkel at the uh, ayaw, masira ni Coach Luigi Trillo yung young career. Oh, yeah. Kerev, this young man, oh, yeah. by uh, endangering that uh, hurt uncle that he had. So it's Yap on Abadia. Taguba, the hesitation move. Nothing there. Hate fighting. The lone Falcon fighting against four Warriors. You got to love this guy. Jojo Hate, the warrior for the Adamson Falcons. <laughs> with 10 points and 9 rebounds in this game so far. He just won. He refuses to lose this afternoon. How do you go to Fourth personal foul on Jay Alistrada. Intensity personified. Jojo Hate just loves playing in the Loyola gym. And he will take two Gentex free throws. And I'll take this opportunity to give you the possible scenarios of this game. If Ateneo UE, actually, not of this game, but at the end of the second round, if Ateneo UE and FPU end up tied with 11-3 records, Ateneo, because of the spirit of will we'll get a bye. Number one. That's correct. And then there will be a playoff for spot number two between FPU and UE. Now, if Ateneo and UE end up tied at 11 and 3, the playoff game for number one will be between Ateneo and UE. That's right. Ateneo and, F and FEU tied at 11 and 3. There will be a playoff game for Ateneo and FEU for the number one spot. And if just in case FEU and UE end up tied at 10 and 4, playoff game for number two is between FEU versus UE with Ateneo meeting Lasal in the final four. Sabi nga natin at the start of our coverage, the only definite things so far at this stage is that Ateneo will have a twice to beat advantage and that Lasal will be team number four yeah. in the semi-final round. That's right, but what a shot by James Yap. That was tough, making the making the spectacular look so simple on that That's one. That's right, Nelly Marcavadilla, take that shot. 26 points by the warrior of the UE Red Warriors. <laughs> Soaring high for the Red Warriors. Those game shop this time. You gotta look at that That's uh, right. play once again. The fake, the elevation, Ooh. the separation, and then the release, and then the little bounce. 
for his 26 points. Two free throws for Jojo Hartman. No emotions <laughs> shown at all by the cold-blooded scorer, James Schaap. Just doing his job. Another day in the office. Para dito sa ating young player na mukhang shoe-in sa mythical selection. Itong si James Young. Mercenary. Mm -hmm. Laying under the mold, in the mold of uh, the former Red well, Warrior, Alan K. Di ka lang, left-handed itong si uh, Alan K. Di. Alam mo, if James Young had no emotion, this guy is all emotion. All emotion. <laughs> Intensity personified. Jojo Hate. 14 big Probably points. his best scoring game of the season. 14 points and 9 rebounds. On a the monster verge. game. On the first game. game. Para kay Jojo Hate. Double-double na. Malapit na. Antali. Calling the shots. Yeah. Thinking about it. Mark Abadia held on to James Yap in the challenge. See the two scorers. 242 remaining here in the fourth quarter. He tried to impede in drive. <laughs> James Yap. That is the improvement in the game of James Yap. Whereas before, he was purely a catch and shoot player. Right now, he can create the shots off the dribble. At uh, alam mo, pag may kasama kang guardian na katulad din po ng tatin, life will be easier for you because he gives up those passes at the right place at the right time. Boy, if that shot went in, ayaw na. <laughs> Nagupa. Sending it over. Abadia. Abadia draws closer. Left-handed shot. Fouled by RJ Masbang and Coach Boise Samar. Disagreeing with the call. The lead is only four with 16. Let's we forget. This game ain't over yet. He's not out of the woods yet. That's correct. Alam naman natin kung gaano ka dangerous itong team ng Adams and Falcons. One thing they have learned in this season is that they have managed to win close games, even overtime games. At itong UE is uh, not safe at this point. Dahil Adams and Falcons under the anchor of uh, under the anchor of Nagupa at itong ni Mark Abadia. Abadia with a pair of Gentex free throws. Are you one of us? Averaging 60.7% from the line. But missing the front end of those two charities. Very important free throws for Mark Abadia and Coach Luigi Trillo. You know, the last time these two teams met, he had 26 points of his own. Back in July 19. Just like what James Yap has right oh, now. Nga. Balik naman. But Mark Abadia, not far behind with 20 markers across his name. And don't forget, two minutes from now, FBU versus USD and another crucial set to here at the Blue Eagle Gym as your UAAP Sunday continues on Studio 23. And a good set of shots from Paul Antani to RJ Masbah. That was a crucial basket for the new Red Warriors, giving them more pretty room with a 5-point lead. Paul Antani creating that basket for RJ Masbah. Tahonera finds one, nothing. And the tap go to Ramil Tagupa with a fresh shot clock to work with. Paul Artadi tapping it out. We have a timeout at the 142 mark. You're watching UAAP action on Studio 23. Another Nescafe 3 and 1 break. Masarap It's a break time. We are going to hang on and maybe listen to one of the huddles. And let's try to listen to or listen to uh, the UE Red Warrior huddle. Less than uh, two minutes. Konti lang yung lamang natin o lamang yung kalaban. You have to have poise inside. Ibig sabihin nun, as much as possible guys, you have to be composed. Pari pag nagpakita tayo ng reaction dyan, babanatan tayo, babanatan natin. Yun ang gagawin nila. Okay? Now, you have to think muna. Pag nakuha natin yung bola, hayaan mo muna yung bola doon. Then, importante ngayon, yung lalabas is a number four guy. <laughs> okay, now, dito ka na kagad, uh, Olan. Dito ka na kagad, uh, Paul. Pagbigay na spin, go. Labas. Titira tayo ng last five seconds. Okay, we go thumbs up again. We go thumbs up again, pass in away. Huwag lang tayo magkoconcentrate kay James. To change yung titikoy. Now, we have to make some stop. Defense, defense, defense. Well, that, those are very clear instructions from uh, Coach Boise Samar. And uh, he will ask James Yap to play decoy in this play. They'll know that 
predictably, yun ang unang option mo, ano? Totoo yun, totoo yun. But itong makikita mo po na tadi, I really admire his read of that particular possession previous to this one. Uh -huh. He knew that James Shot was a little bothered by the defense of Mark Abadia. And what did he do? As for a pick and roll play, it must bang with that uh, nice nifty pass off a pick and roll uh, setup done by him. Kaya naman talagang 5-point lead na para sa Red Warriors. And they make a stop. And Paul Artadi is once again with a nice pass oh! and finish. And you know, Coach Boyd and Shaman said, let's play defense. One stop, they got the stop they wanted. And an easy conversion, 76-69. A little more breathing space between the UE Red Warriors and Adamson University. Not a good development for Coach Luigi Trillo. He was the one who called for that timeout to map out a sure play for his team. But what happened was, a turnover was forced and an easy two points for the UE Red Warriors. Yap called for his second personal foul, not the foul that Coach Boise Samar wants because he stops the clock and uh, will give Patrick Cabal two free throws with time not moving. First one is good for Patrick Cabal who averages 62.5% from the line. Today, he has three out of six. Good enough for 12 points for Patrick. Artadi calling the thumbs down. Thirteen on the shot clock. Ball looking at his options. They go to James Yap. Yap from 18 feet. That's way offline. And a foul given up by Masbang, and that's bad news. Not a smart foul once again on the part of Masbang. They stop the clock and give Adamson a chance to get closer with two free throws. And not only that, Masbang will be slapped with his fifth personal foul. You know, you saw Coach Poise Samar during the huddle saying, we've got to think, we've got to think. And those are sometimes lapses you know, in the course of the game, and I'm sure you know what, what I mean, Ronnie. Playing sometimes, of course, you can forget certain situations. We have, that's correct, but then we have to remember that we are in the closing stages of the yes. second round. This means this player has, this players have played so many games already in this uh, 60, uh, 6 season. That's why it's really you know, mati rang mati bai. Those who are more physically fit will be able to deliver much better in the crunch time. And an offensive rebound again for Adamson. Four point lead only for UE. A, a shot, a conversion here will put so much pressure on UE. James Yap not giving Kabao space. Hate inside against Estrada. Tough one. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, Hate taking matters into his own hands. Hitting the crucial turnaround, Ate with 16 points already in this game. Nine rebounds, and Jojo Ate has been the man. And this is down to a two-point game. Single possession game right now. Yui needs a basket, while the Falcons need a major stop at this point. AG. And this is where character and composure and poise and all that we've been driving. Nothing there. There was a foul as he was hacked on his way to the hole. Leaping with the right idea, earning those two charities, be aggressive going to the basket rather than setting for an outside shot. You gotta take a look at Jojo Hate. The move on JR Estrada, ang guapo ng galaw, One-hander for his 16th point. Now, Jojo Hate only averages 12.8, not bad. 16 today for the final game for Adamson University. A meeping. Tested. It's been there before and has delivered time and time again for Coach Boise Sama, but he needs to bury the second end, the last end of his two charities, to at least give his team a two possession advantage over the Adamson Pato. 64% from the line, four out of four today here at the Blue Eagle Gym. And a little more space between the two teams. 78 74, Mat Abadia. Lagging behind, Artadi snatching it away. Sets up Olan Umipin for the two points. Oh! Open again for the UN Empire. James Yap doing wonders in that particular defensive uh, gem of it. Playing the passing lanes and forcing the turnovers with an easy two pointer para sa UE. And a traveling infraction called. And in the end, partner, it was the defense of the Warriors that spelled the difference for them in winning or wow. losing this particular game. Artadi anticipating the move, and what a setup job for Umiping just at the last moment. And Umiping, di naman pinahiya. Itong si Paul Artadi. 
as James Jump is fouled on his way to the hole, 7.3 seconds. And no matter the outcome of this game, it has been a tremendous season for Adamson University. Nothing bad can be said about Coach Luigi Trillo, the whole coaching staff, the players, <laughs> and the institution itself. Right. They have been all out. This Hats season. off to Coach Luigi Trillo and the Adamson Falcons. The school gave him a chance to grow up with his boys. He found the right pieces, acquiring the bigger guys this year. What has happened? Positive thing for them. Their best season in the last 10 years. They are a team to reckon with in the 67th yeah. season of the UAAP. I think this is what this game is all about. There's like serving a notice to watch out That's for us next year. With a healthy and a more mature again, again, and, Bono. and of course, the other team of Ricard Gabadilla is the leader in the first one of Ramil Tagupa. A meeping five out of five from the free throw line. Coach Boise Salmar and his boys will climb up to 10 and 3 with this particular victory. On Thursday, they will face Nelasal. If they win that particular game, they will climb up to 11 and 3 and tie either Ateneo and FEU at the top. A final say courtesy of Ray Kamabai, 82 76 for the UE Red Warriors. A splendid season for Adamson University. And the UE Red Warriors whooping it up right now, and that is the final score. Not an easy win for UE. Definitely tested. It don't seem to go to Boise Samar, but once again coming through in the clutch. James Shap, Paul Artati, RJ Booker, and it's si Masbang doing well in the fourth quarter, giving UE its 10th victory in 10 and 13 starts. And let's give you our Milo Energy player of the game. Obviously, James Yap lording it over everybody. 26 point performance. And not only that, spectacular play, spectacular shot from James Yap. And of course, and he will no end emotion. Up, uh, Milo Energy player of the game. Up next, USD versus FEU. More <laughs> action here at the Blue Eagle Gym for 66 season of the UAAB with Jude Turbato and Randy Sandalan for CA Bello. And of course, Eugene Lalan, Ronnie Buxano. My name is Boone Gonzalez. Thank you very much for watching us because we make it look good.